welcome back to Inspired by Babies. I know it's been a while since I've been on here and I've posted a video. And today, hello everybody. Welcome back to Inspired by Babies. I hope you've all been doing well. I know it has been a while since I have posted a video for you guys. I have been super busy painting tons of babies as you guys have been seeing. I've been posting the pictures on my community wall as I get them done. And I'm about ready to assemble this little reborn baby girl. For those of you who don't know, this is Laura Lee Eagles Twyla. So I just finished rooting her the other day and I've been working on gluing her head. And then I realized when I was about to assemble her that I didn't have the plugs and rings that I needed to complete stuffing her. So I had to wait for that to come in and that just got here today. So I'm gonna be working on assembling her. Um, I did, my customer asked me if I could add a magnet for a bow. So I just did that a little bit ago, and now I'm just waiting for this to dry. That way I can get her assembled because I definitely don't want to stuff her head while the glue is still wet. So I'll be ready to assemble her probably tomorrow. I like to give it a good day for all the glue to dry and everything else. But in the meantime, I thought I would take advantage of this opportunity to come on here and show you guys how I brush and style my reborn baby doll's hair. I get a lot of questions from my customers and students about how I style my baby's hair and I get it to stay the way that I want it. So I thought I would take advantage of the opportunity to do that while I have Twyla apart here. Before I go ahead and do that, if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to smash that big subscribe button and hit the thumbs up if you enjoy this video. Also, I wanna let you guys know it's so exciting. I My um, reborning tutorial is only 2,000 views away from the 100,000 view mark. So thank you all so much. That is the highest viewed video on my channel. Managed to get to almost 100,000 in the first year of the tutorial trying to keep it free. I hope you guys will take advantage of the super share, which is the heart with the money sign. If you'd like to leave a tip for my tutorials, I would greatly appreciate that. Just imagine if every one of those 98,000 had given me a $1 tip, just a $1 tip, I would have had enough to have a nice down payment for a house, expand my business more, get a car finally. So yeah, um, I'm trying to keep my tutorials free. I know everyone's been requesting for me to do an updated tutorial, a new version of the tutorial. I'm going to try to do that for you guys. I'm going to make it shorter. It's going to probably be a little more advanced because, of course, since I did the last set of tutorials, I've learned a lot more myself and my technique has changed just a little bit with just a tiny little bit, not a whole lot. So... Um, I'm trying to decide if I want to leave the new tutorial free for you guys or if I want to make a CD and sell it. If I do sell it, it's not going to be anywhere near the price of what everybody else, um, you know, charges to teach you guys how to reborn. So maybe I'll do a poll and you guys can let me know what you would like to do if you would rather leave a tip under the tutorial or if you would rather me sell the physical CD that I could send you guys. So anyhow, so there's that. So let me go ahead and show you guys how I style and brush my baby's hair. And I wanna give you a few little tips. The first thing is you always want to brush the hair in the direction it's rooted. I root my babies very, very directionally. Even the top of the hair is directional. The back of the hair, the swirl is directional. This is all directional. It might be a little different depending on who the artist is. So I'm going to show you just for my reborns how I brush the hair because I know the direction, you know, that I have rooted them. 
Now, the reason why it's really important to brush the hair in the same direction that it's been rooted is because if you brush the opposite direction, like say, instead of brushing the hair this way, I decide to brush it back this way against the opposite direction of how it's been rooted, then there's a better chance that you're gonna pull the hair out or you might break the hair or you're gonna damage, damage the hair. So it's very, very important. You know, I have rooted in the direction that the top of the hair is meant to be brushed forward. So if you brush the hair backward instead like that, then there's a better chance you're gonna either rip the hair out or you're gonna break the hair, etc. So it's very important that you root in the direction that your baby is rooted. Now, let me go ahead and show you. And most of my babies, they pretty much all have the same kind of hair rooting map. So it should work out this way, the way I'm gonna show you, it should work out for any of the babies that, that I've rooted that you guys may have. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray my baby's hair. And I like to use the Go Baby Premium Leave-In Conditioning Spray. It works really well. Once it dries, it usually typically will stay the way that I have styled it. So I, I've been using this since I started in as a, as a reborn artist and it's very inexpensive. I think it was around $8 a bottle, but you can also just buy baby conditioner from the store and water it down. I'd say maybe a quarter um, of the baby conditioning spray with three quarters water and shake it up really well and that should work just as well. I try to get the conditioner that says alcohol free because the alcohol could you know change the color of the hair could even maybe possibly change the color of the paint. So if you're going to make your own conditioner just make sure it says alcohol free on it and like I said, I would only do maybe a quarter of the way with the conditioner spray mixed with three quarters of water and shake it up really well. And that should do pretty well for you. So let me go ahead and show you how I brush my baby's hair. And like I said, the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to spray the hair. I know some people like to just spray it on the brush, but I don't have any problems and haven't had any problems with just spraying it directly on the baby. You can always wipe the face off, whatever, if it bothers you that some of it got on the baby's face. And I like to get it, you know, pretty decently wet. So I like to do the, the back and the sides first. So for the back, I always have a very nice swirl and I'm just going to follow in the direction that I have it rooted, just like that, okay? Because I want to keep that nice swirl. I do like to use a little children's toothbrush because the bristles, they're softer, but they're not too soft, so it brushes really well. They're also not so hard that it will scratch the paint job or pull the hair out or anything like that, so... I don't know if you can see, there is no hair in this brush, which is also a good way to know if you have your doll's head glued enough on the inside. If no hair is coming out when you're brushing, that's a very good sign. So anyway, so that's what I do. I just follow the direction of my rooting. Okay, it's kind of hard to brush and show you at the same time, but that's why I want to have this video for you guys, because even if I can't explain it really well, you can at least kind of see what I'm doing. And you'll know if you're brushing in the correct direction, because if I, pr if I brush in the wrong direction, see how now it kind of looks like there's a balding spot there and it looks very thin. Do you see what I'm saying? Or if I brush that way, it just, it doesn't look right. You'll also feel the resistance with your brush. It should just be smooth strokes, okay? And it should be in the direction that it's rooted. And if you're brushing it in the right direction, as you can see, the hair will go nice and flat to the head. And I really like that effect because I think the thinner it is and the more closer to the head that it sits, then the more natural newborn-y kind of look you will have. 
So for the sides, it's the same thing. I'm kind of brushing forward, okay? Forward and then down slightly to an angle. Forward and then down slightly to an angle, just like that. And like I said, it's kind of hard for me to kind of show you and brush because I can't see what I am doing, but I've kind of rooted it to come around to the front and then down. Okay, I hope that's making sense. To the front and then down. To the front and then down. To the front and then down. Okay, and then for the side burn here, I just take my brush and I bring the hair back toward the ear, just like that. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing now with this other side. I'm going to follow my rooting, the direction of my rooting. Okay. When you get to this one side here, it kind of curves around, but then you also have to start bringing it back toward the ear. So I just do that. Okay, see how nice that's looking? How nice and natural. All right, and then once I start getting toward this ear area, it's the same kind of thing where I'm gonna go forward and then down. Forward, down, forward, down, forward, down. Okay? And the same thing as I did on the other side for the sideburns, I'm just going to brush it toward the ear. And then you see how it gives that nice line right here where the hair meets up? I really love that. Okay. Now for the top, I kind of have a little bit of a curve. I kind of have a little bit of a curve which I'll show you what I mean but I start out at this row back here and then I have a curve and then a curve so that's the way that I am going to brush it so you'll be able to hopefully see what I'm saying I have a curve like this okay and then I'm going to bring it back and curve it a little bit and a curve. So I curved it this way and then I've curved it this way. Okay. And that's all I do. Curve this way and then curve this way. And you can kind of mess around with it. And then see, depending on how it's curved, you get that nice line in the center there where it makes the hair look more defined and darker. And I really like that. I really like that look. Okay. And now I have this these light little baby hairs here. I'm going to brush that to the front. Okay. And the same with this side. I'm going to brush this to the front. And then I'm just going to take my brush and I'm going to use my brush to kind of manipulate it a little bit to give her a very nice hairline that is going to meet up with the sideburn. Okay? I hope you can see how I just did that. And I'm going to do the same thing with this side. Okay. I'm just using like the end of the brush, the end of the bristles to just kind of manipulate it to give it this hairline right here. Let me show you that again. Bringing the hair to the front. Okay. And then I'm just going to use the end of the toothbrush to kind of manipulate it and give it that nice line that is going to meet up with 
the sideburn, okay? And that's how I do it. Now, if I wanna put a hair bow on, because as a lot of you know, I like to give my baby a little baby mohawk, especially the girls. So if I want to give my baby a little mohawk with a bow, I'll show you how I do that. I'm going to put the bow on, and yes, I'm gonna do it while the baby's hair is wet. This way, my mohawk will stay the way I want it by the time I'm done, but we have the little bow here or, you know, headband, okay? I like to bring some of the hair back out. I don't like the hair headband to stay on the hair. I actually like to bring the hair out and then just rebrush it the same way I had brushed it. It's just now the hair is going to be on the outside of the hair band. Okay. I like to do, cause see it looks so messy when it's just on top of it. So I like to pull it out from there. And then I just think that gives it a much nicer look. So when I have a headband in, I can either just leave the hair flat like that Okay, which still looks cute, right? But I really like to have this little, little bit of a messy kind of mohawk look when I have a hairband in, especially for the girls. See, look how cute that is. So stinking adorable with the little baby mohawk. Sorry if it's a little hard to see, the lighting in my house is not the greatest, but isn't that so stinking adorable with the little baby mohawk? Absolutely love it. And all I'm doing to get, them, to get this little mohawk is I'm just taking some of the hair, I'm brushing a little bit from this side toward the opposite side, and then a little bit from this side toward the opposite opposite side brushing the hair to the for you know to the center and then you kind of get that little bit of a messy not really messy but you get this definite kind of uh mohawk going on which I'm having a hard time showing you because her hair is so light let's see if I can make that a little bit easier for you guys to see but see how adorable that is? Aww. And that's how I brush and style my Reborn's hair. You can bring some of the hair back to the forward here so it doesn't look like she has a big forehead. You know what I mean? So, so stinking adorable. Absolutely love it. So that is how I brush my Reborn Baby Doll's hair. I hope that you guys find this video helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. I'm happy to answer them. If you'd like to know the different types of mohair that I use. Like I said, I am planning on making a new tutorial on how to paint a Reborn. And I'm also going to try to do a better hair rooting tutorial for you guys. And I can go over the different types of mohair that I like to use again and the needles I use and kind of show you. Um, I'm getting a little bit better with my camera angles and being able to show you guys things a little bit better. So I will try to do a better hair rooting tutorial for you guys as well. But as you can see, she looks so absolutely adorable. So like I said, I hope you guys find this tutorial helpful. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to share with your friends. I really appreciate all that extra support. Sharing, giving a thumbs up, subscribing, it all helps push the videos out. It, it kind of gets the algorithm here on YouTube to get my videos moving. This way we can help as many new Reborn artists and collectors as possible. 
So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.